April and May, I was pretty busy. I'm very proud of myself and surprised that I accomplished sewing so many garments in a two month period. In the month of April, I was able to complete three sewing projects. The first one, this is a TNT pattern for me guys. I actually really love this pattern and the different variations and options and looks and designs that you can get with this pattern. It's the Arlo dress by Petite Stitchery. Um, this is the second dress that I made using that pattern and I made this dress for Easter. The first dress that I made was for, was supposed to be for Valentine's Day um, back in February and I'll insert that picture here, but this is a TNT for me and I'm actually getting ready to make another dress for someone else using this same pattern. Um, for this next garment, I was selected to test a pattern for sew with stephanie i will leave her instagram and i believe she's also here on youtube as well and i'll put her information either here on the screen but it will definitely be in the description box as well um this pattern is the evie top and i actually enjoy sewing up this pattern it's definitely a summery top as the back is out and it uses crisscross ties as a closure. The third garment that I was able to complete in the month of April is Simplicity S9295. This is a pattern by Gertie. I consider all of her patterns vintage style because that is what she um, specializes in. And this is also the garment that I use to make my first buttonhole. And I will leave a link to that video in the description box. But this is the top I made and oh my God, it came together so well. When I got to those buttonholes, you know, I did some practice before, but I was still kind of nervous, but I did it. I made it through with no injuries and no drama, but I absolutely love this top. I wore it to work about a week ago or so, and I got so many compliments on it. So it was definitely a hit. For the month of May, I was able to complete five sewing projects. I was actually amazed to look back and see how many things I actually completed in the month of May, especially since my daughter was graduating high school and there was so many things for us to do. We had to get a prom dress, set up makeup, set up hair. She wanted a dress for her graduation made. So all of that, with all of that, I was able to accomplish all of this, okay? The first garment that I completed in May is the Women's Fitted Top by Life So Savory. She is also here on YouTube as well as Instagram. So this top I actually made for Mother's Day in a marigold mustardy yellow color. I really love the fit of it and it was exactly what I wanted um, from this top. It's not disappointed at all. This was the first pattern that I made by Life So Savory. And with this pattern, you do have to self-draft your neckband, but it's pretty easy. And there's even a section on her um, blog where she shows you and kind of tells you how to create your neckband for her t-shirt patterns. The second item that I completed was the tote bag. And you can pick this pattern up at sweetredpoppy.com. It comes in five different sizes. And I actually made the biggest size for my mom. She'd been asking me for a bag. So I finally decided that I'd make her a bag for Mother's Day. I wanted to do some other things with it that I didn't get a chance to, but that's okay. Kind of glad I didn't because when I presented her with the bag, she let me know that uh, she wanted a square bag. So I do plan on remaking her a square bag and I will add all of the little extra that I wanted to add then onto that bag. But she took it anyway, so I know she appreciated it though. It's all good. Up next is McCall 7910. This is a jumpsuit pattern. And what I liked about this pattern the most was the plunging neckline. Um, I think I could do a little better on this make, there were some things that I noticed about it that maybe no one else notices, but um, I did have to make some adjustments. I had to take some fabric out of the shoulders 
to make it fit properly at the top. I had some challenges with this pattern, but I got it done. Um, when it came to the pants part, I don't know what I was doing or what was going on, but I ended up like cutting out the surgery stitches like two or three times. So of course the size of my pants went smaller. So I know I can probably make like two sizes smaller in this jumpsuit and maybe that will even help the fit of the bodice if I go down a size or two. But I do know definitely those pants were not the size 14, I believe that I sewed because I did trim that seam allowance quite a bit each time that I had to redo those pants. But the jumpsuit still came out pretty good. You know, like I said, there's minor things that I see that no one else may notice. So I do wanna make it again with the size adjustments and you know, see how it turns out. The next pattern is also a pattern that I was selected to test for Canyon Moon Studio. It's the Cottonwood tee, tunic, and crop top. I made this lovely top here. I really love the way it fit. It is meant to be oversized. And I think, I can't remember exactly what size I sewed, but I know that I did go down one size when I sewed up the pattern just because looking at the models and the fit of it, um, I didn't want it to be too big or too baggy. And what I also liked about this pattern is the way that they had you put your neckband on. It was different, but it got the job done and I have no complaints about the pattern. It's a very, very easy sew and I would recommend it for any beginner. So definitely check out their page as well and pick up this pattern for yourself. All right, this next pattern is a tribute to my daughter. She graduated um, from high school on June 3rd, 2023, and she requested that this dress be made for her graduation. I made this dress on Thursday, and the graduation was actually on Saturday. So I made that on what, May 30th, and it was super simple, super easy. This pattern is a Sew It Academy exclusive pattern for Sew It Academy students. Um, if you want to pick up that pattern, I would suggest that you check out the Sew It Academy site. And there is also a link in the description box below if you want to check out the Sew It Academy. You can get a free trial for five free classes. And if you decide to move forward, then you can pick up this one shoulder dress pattern. I made this for my daughter in a size eight and she probably could have stood to use a size six, but it still fit pretty good. That neck band, oh my God, it fit like perfectly. It snapped right on. And that is one of the best things about this pattern. The armbands, the armhole bands and the neck band was super simple, snapped right on. Like I said, I made this dress in one night from cut to sew one night, no time at all. Two seams, neck band, armhole band, and you're done. It was very cute. She wanted it in black. I tried to get her to go for some color, but she was like, no, just make it in black. So made it in black. I did also um, do a muslin for myself in just the top which I never finished or completed. I didn't add the neck band or the armhole bands and I want to and I, right now I really don't even know where it is, but I plan on making a dress from this pattern for myself as well. Looking back over these garments, I can see my progress. I faced some fears and I really outdid myself for April and May. I've enjoyed sewing all of these and I hope you will decide to Check out some of these Instagrammers, other YouTubers, and pick up these patterns for yourself. If you like this content and you want to continue to see more, hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it with a friend, and leave me a comment below. Until next time, keep sewing.